Hello there, this is Man Wilkes and of Man Wilkes and Tarot. It is Wednesday, October the 6th, 2021. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome, glad to have you. If you are a long-term subscriber, I thank you for your continued support. If you have not already done so, could you please like, share, and subscribe? Thank you. Hello Aquarius, how are you today? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're taking care of yourself and the people around you and vice versa. I hope you know you're beautiful, you're gorgeous, and you have that beautiful star shining right inside of you. This is a general reading. It will not resonate with every Aquarius out there. Take what does and leave the rest. And there's no gender in tarot. Cut in the deck for Aquarius. Spirit. Four of Cups, sadness, apathy, uh, looks like your heart got broken. You are concentrating on the three cups that have spilled. Um, your heart was broken, but there's always the cup of self-love sitting behind you that you just have to see. And you need to love yourself first before you can love someone else. So turn around and pick up that cup of self-love. What is crossing this? The world. The world. The world talks about the end of a, end of a cycle. It could have been a karmic cycle with the, with the broken-hearted card. The world. The end of a cycle and a new cycle will be beginning. What is consciously known? The Wheel of Fortune. There we go. The wheel is spinning in an upward direction for you. You are the White Reaper. This is talking about um, success, and it is a very positive omen, the Wheel of Fortune. Unconscious. Two of Wands. Two of Wands. Two of Wands is like a fork in the road. You need to choose a path. Also, there's usually a globe in this card, which talk, which uh, can talk about travel. Maybe you have to travel for work, or you have to travel to see the person that you are interested in. Recent past. Ten cups. Oh, Aquarius. Ultimate abundance in love. Cups are water energy. Cat spicy Scorpio. There's the house. There's the property. Ultimate abundance in love. Near future, to the soulmates, twin flames, what have you, two of cups, um, their hearts are eyes, nose is an upside down heart, uh, and I love this image of the water from his cup spilling into hers, and their beautiful bright red hearts shining out from their rib cage. Soulmates, twin flames, you and your person, true love, where do you find yourself? Page of Swords. Page of Swords. You're stalking someone, Aquarius? I don't know. I don't think this is your energy. Uh, I think someone's watching you. Swords are air energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is a the, my stalker card. So if you're not stalking someone, Aquarius, I think you're too. You must. You're too busy with your soulmate to be stalking anybody. And somebody may be stalking you. But you got your got your soulmate, so they let them watch. External influences. The Empress. This is Libra and Taurus energy. The Empress. She's independent, divine feminine, maternal energy. The Empress, she's sitting in her throne. She sits in her power. She knows her worth. She's not getting out of her throne for anybody or anything. Could be pregnant, congratulations. Um, or she could be birthing a new idea, a new... Um, a new adventure, a new job, something. The Empress, Divine Feminine Independent Energy. Hopes and or fears. Page of Cups, a love message. Cups are water energy, Cat's Spicy Scorpio. I like the skull spoon. Page of Cups, this is a love message. Overall outcome. Knight of Wands, Knight of Wands, this is my player card. Wands are fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person is good looking, charismatic, fun to be with, sexy, exciting. This is a, my player card. Bottom of the deck. Oh, 
New clear honest communication. Swords are air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Swords are all about honest, clear communication. Aces are new. This is new, honest, clear communication. King of Swords. King of Swords. I generally think this is your card, Aquarius. Swords are air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Swords are all about honest, clear communication. Ace of Swords. If you do not give the King of Swords honest, clear communication, he will use his sword and cut you out of his life. Makes head over heart decisions. Although the King of Swords is all about communication and very loving and loyal when you are honest and clear with him. The Temperance. The Temperance. This is Sagittarius energy. I love her dress. I like these colors. Um, this is talking about divine timing, having patience, and trusting universe or spirit to bring give you what you need at the proper time. Divine timing. The High Priestess, more divine feminine energy. She is divine feminine. She is independent. Uh, yeah, she sits in her throne. She sits in her power. She is empathic. Empathic. She's intuitive. She knows how to figure people out. She got a scepter in this card. Candles, a book, some deck. She has tarot cards, crystal ball. So it's that kind of energy. The High Priestess. Oh, and a new passionate beginning. Ace of Wands. Wands are fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Ace of Wands, new passionate beginning. This could be a new idea or this could be a new... Um, wands are phallic. Positive. Or, um... <laughs> Masculine or feminine? Oh my goodness, me. Okay, so it looks like you got your heart broke, but this is a new cycle. Wheels spinning in an upward direction. Ultimate abundance in love. Soulmates. We had the Empress. We had love message. Honest, clear communication. The King of Communication. The Temperance. Divine Timing. Passionate new beginning. Oh, and also choosing a path. Which I forgot to put in here. But. So, someone broke your heart. Probably uh, this person is watching you. And you probably got rid of them because they were a player. Because you don't have to worry about it. Because you got ten cups and two cups here. Plus the Empress. Beautiful. Oh. I forgot, almost forgot to do with my love cards. Finances and career. Finances are a factor in your love right now. Do we see any money? Take care of your money. Trust. The situation is calling for you to have trust. Kind of a divine timing type. Oh, and wedding. Situation involves marriage. Well, ultimate abundance in love and soulmates. All right, Aquarius. I will talk to you soon. Have a great night. Bye for now.